Welcome back, friends, with more of the Big Bang Theory. This is Season 5, Episode 21. Last time, we had Sheldon play with his teleporter toy from Star Trek that Penny got him and wound up breaking it, switching it with Leonard's, and it became a whole fiasco. And we also had Raj trying to marry this person who was a lesbian. That was never going to work well. And eventually, though, Howard and Bernadette got him a dog so that he's not as lonely. That was very cute. I hope we see the dog more in the future. Anyway, full reaction is going to be on Patreon in the link in the description below. Leave a like, really helps out the channel, and let's get started. I got the craziest email this morning. I don't mean to burst your bubble, dude, but those penile enlargement pills do not work. Raj. Believe me, I know. You've tried them? Stephen Hawking. You're Whoa. He's coming to the university for a couple weeks to lecture, and he's looking for an engineer to help maintain the equipment on his wheelchair. That's wow. amazing. You'll be like his pit crew. <laughs> <laughs> the race car driver, pit uh, crew. I would not do your Stephen Hawking impression. I suppose that could be considered offensive. <laughs> oh, Sheldon wow. to freak out. Yeah, he worships Hawking. Well, I was actually thinking about bringing him along when I go over there. So You're going to be nice to him? Man. Boy, a restraining order from Stephen Hawking. <laughs> Do you recall when I said that I was going to revolutionize humanity's understanding of the Higgs boson particle and you said, Sheldon, it's 2 a.m., get out of my bedroom? <laughs> Sweet Sam Houston, I did it. <laughs> really <laughs> now? Oh, you, break out the mat. Oh, okay. I was thinking, you, Howard, you go ahead and eat. This isn't going to make any sense to you. Yeah, why would you be nice to him? You still going to tell him about you know who? Yep. Still really? Him? Not on your life. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> please, please, please. <laughs> let me meet Hawking. You said, would it help if I said I'm sorry? And you never answered me. So who owes whom an apology now? You owe him an apology. Why on earth would I want to do something nice for you? To go to Jewish heaven? <laughs> Jews don't have heaven. Wait, then to avoid Jewish hell? <laughs> Have you met my mother? I live in Jerusalem. Stephen Hawking, perhaps my only intellectual equal. <laughs> oh, man. Imagine, you're the sole human being living on a planet populated with nothing but dogs. And then it turns just out keeps insulting him. another human being. Just keeps insulting him. Okay, I can see you're going to take this the wrong way. Let me try again. What other Imagine way was there to take it? Human... We talked about movies. Oh. Oh. He even let me read a couple pages from his new book. Oh, <laughs> oh this is hurting him so much. Um, got you down there, Bunky? Love it. Please, I'm begging you. He begged the Fox Network not to cancel Firefly. He begged the TNT Network to cancel Babylon 5. <laughs> and when Just he don't watch it. Poisoning at the Rose Bowl Parade, he begged a deity he doesn't believe in to end his life quickly. <laughs> when I was six years old, I dressed up as him for Halloween. I took my dad's desk chair, attached a speak and spell to it, and made my sister push me up and down the block to trick or treat. Uh -huh. You don't seem to be understanding the English word no. It may be a different language will help. Russian, niet. Chinese, boo. Binary coded ASCII, 0110111. I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for Hawking. He deserves to meet you? Is that Hell what you're saying? No. <laughs> Hell no. Give him my paper on the Higgs boson. If he sees the incredible breakthrough I've made, he'll reach out to me. What if he doesn't? Yeah, he will. He's really smart. <sighs> okay. Give me a minute to talk it over with my friends. How do I do that? So walk away. Walking away. Oh, man. Just doesn't want to deal with him anymore. <laughs> Just talk about something else now. You do realize you own his ass right now. I do. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't be too mean. Freshly brewed iced tea, if anyone would like some. I wouldn't mind a glass. I wasn't talking to you. Oh, Sheldon. Bring him to his bony knees. Oh, damn. Sheldon, come on back. Yes, yes. <laughs> here, boy, here, boy. I'll give your paper to Professor Hawk. Great, thank you. Oh, that's terrific. If, but... if. Are you familiar with the 12 labors of Hercules? Oh. Of course. You should be so lucky. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, polishing my belt buckles. Oh. How many does he have? When I was a boy, I would polish my Mima silver. Jeez. How do they think they even need polishing? He's just giving him busy work to punish him. 
Funny thing is, I only have one belt. <laughs> I tend to stand too close to the urinal, so... Clean it with your what tongue. You, you make sissy on your belt buckles? Sissy? Meemaw's forks never had that. <laughs> Here is a black light to check them. Oh, For damn. Your own peace of mind, you might not want to shine that around the rest of the room. <laughs> Sound advice. Wow. Magnificent little crowns to hang over my magnificent little jewels. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I uh, buffed them with turtle wax. The turtle wax? The boy says from now on the urine should just beat up and roll right off. Oh, wow. When, yeah, the extra mile, yeah above and beyond. Proud. My me mom must never know of this. <laughs> now will you give Professor Hawking my paper? Oh, my dear boy, no. Okay. This is just the start, man. Next, this is a sexy French maid costume I bought for Bernadette. You want me to return it for you? No. Oh, no, ma petite chérie. <laughs> he wants him to wear it and dust his room? Oh, no. He wants him to wear it to work. Hi, Shelly. What are you all staring at? You ever seen a man try to get a meeting with Stephen Hawking before? <laughs> <laughs> at what point does this become cruel? Not yet, but at what point does it become cruel? Amy's? Kind of trashy. Good for her. Howard's. Those are Howard's. Uh. <laughs> Why are you washing Howard's man panties? Because <laughs> he's a famous physicist. Yeah, yeah, she know. knows. He's the wheelchair dude who invented time. Invented time? <laughs> Close enough. Close enough. <laughs> you don't think I'm condescending, do you? Well. Oh, I'm sorry. Condescending? No, 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 no. You love correcting people and putting them down. D oh, contraire. When I correct people, uh, I am raising them up. Not the way you do it. Not the way you do it. You should know. I see that twinkle in your eye when someone says who instead of whom or thinks the moon is a planet. Who thinks donkey the moon is a planet? is a book about a donkey named Hote. Aww. See? Aww. There is. There's that twinkle. Uh-huh. Well, I can't help it. That's an involuntary twinkle. <laughs> Every time I spend the night, your mom slaps me on the behind and says, go get him. Oh, no. It's not her fault. She's getting hormone replacement therapy. Makes her crazy horny. What does that have to do with her son's Check this out. sex life? I got Sheldon to wear the French maid's costume. Oh my god, that's terrible. What? Hey, I gave you first crack at it. <laughs> He's mean to me all the time. You've heard him tease me about not having a doctorate? If you don't want to get teased about that, get a doctorate. Wow. Even I she's piling that. on. Even she's piling on. Sheldon doesn't know when he's being mean because the part of his brain that should know is getting a wedgie from the rest of his brain. <laughs> still, the, out, the outcome is I'll still the same. A couple more things and I'll stop. No, you have to stop now. You promise to take me dress shopping tomorrow? Sheldon. Oh, damn. I'm sorry I can't make it, but Sheldon's gonna go with you. <laughs> Amazing. Makes you a little bit of a hypocrite, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, I like this look yeah, on her. It's this dress. When I put my front in, my back pops out. When I put my back in, my front pops out. We get it. It's like trying to keep two dogs in a bathtub. Uh, We're going to have to work as a team. Get in here. Get a bigger a dress. And start stuffing. A handful. If we squeeze you any tighter, you might turn into a diamond. <laughs> you should have seen me when I was young, Sheldon. Aww. The fellas used to line up and bring me boxes of candy. Why did I eat it all? <laughs> Aww. Would you hold me? Oh, no, you know, I'm not really the holding kind of- no. He said no! Aww. Hawking souvenirs. Oh. Nice. Uh, gears and springs from his wheelchair. Pretty cool. <laughs> he doesn't need them anymore, hopefully. Oh, that... When I was putting it back together, I could not for the life of me figure out where they went. Um. That sounds concerning. I did it. I should have sent you to the custom car cover place in Altadena. They have her pattern on file. <laughs> Humorous. <laughs> Will you Sarcastic please? laugh. There's only one thing left I want you to do. Don't worry. It's an easy one. Apologize. Okay. Give me a compliment. Oh. 
Tell me I'm good at what I do. I have never said that you are not good at what you do. It's just that what, what you, you do, do is, is not. Worth doing. Oh my god. Oh my. Uh. Now, will you give my paper to Hawking? Sorry, I can't. What? Why not? I gave it to him three days ago. Oh. He was really impressed. He wants to meet you. Oh. All right then. <laughs> He's keeping it. Howard. He's keeping it tamped down. Please let Professor Hawking know that I'm available at his earliest convenience. <laughs> I'll do a little skip. No. <laughs> uh, no, Amy, in this episode either. It's an honor and a privilege to meet you, sir. Are we actually gonna see? I know. I know. Aw. I enjoyed reading your paper very much. You clearly have a brilliant mind. I know. <laughs> Your thesis at the Higgs boson is a black hole. It's fascinating. Too bad it's wrong. <laughs> Too bad it's wrong. Oh, it's the twitching. You made an arithmetic mistake on page two. Page two. Oh, gosh golly. I made a boo-boo. <laughs> and I gave it to Stephen Hawking. Oh, and he fainted. And he fainted. <laughs> Another fainter. <laughs> Another fainter? Aww. Stephen frickin' Hawking. What a great get for a cameo for this show. I'm sure the characters all idolize him, and I feel like Rajan Leonard would have enjoyed meeting him as well, but seeing Sheldon finally meet him and then realize that he made a small math error that wound up collapsing his entire theory, that was hilarious. Just faints right in front of him. I feel like Sheldon needs to get checked for low blood pressure though, because... Uh, like, I remember feeling faint in the past when I had a cut or something and was losing blood, but I've never involuntarily lost consciousness, other than, like, falling asleep by accident. But I feel like we've seen Sheldon faint, like, three or four times in just five seasons. This seems like a problem. And at least he probably won't get a restraining order from Hawking like he has from his other heroes. Uh, Howard and Sheldon's relationship is interesting, though, because Sheldon has been shitting on him for five seasons and probably a long time before the show started, but Howard actually still wanted to do something nice for Sheldon and introduce him to Hawking. And of course, Sheldon ruins that by condescending to Howard once again, as usual. But Howard still thinks of him as a friend, I guess. He's fond of him on some level and wants him to be happy, even if he's still on the receiving end of insults in the future. I mean, he did torture and use Sheldon for a while and started feeling bad for him a little bit, so that's a part of it too. Shining his belt buckles, all of them, with pee stains all over them. Also, who owns that many belt buckles? Is it like a nerdy version of rich people buying a bunch of watches? You only have two wrists for watches, and you only need one watch to tell the time. And you only need one belt to hold up your pants, and the buckle isn't even necessary. And, I mean, I guess a lot of people collect stuff that don't they don't really need anyway. I have maybe like five video game figurines that I won't even have room to display until I get a place of my own. Uh, also a bunch of prints from various conventions that are suffering the same fate, they're just in storage somewhere. And Bernadette wasn't down for Howard's maid fantasy, which, I mean, it's one thing to want a role place in the bedroom, but he wanted to, her to legitimately clean his room as well. Ugh. But instead, he has Sheldon play out another one of his fantasies, making Sheldon embarrass himself in public. Love the little uh, back and forth we had between Sheldon and Penny as well, though. He asked her if he was condescending, and then cut her off to explain to her what condescending meant. Ah, uh, <laughs> super ridiculous. And then Bernadette also tried to get Howard to stop tormenting Sheldon, argues that Sheldon doesn't know what he's when he's being mean, uh, but Penny actually proved that Sheldon does it to feel superior, at least some of the time. Either way, Bernie changes her mind when faced with having to go dress shopping with Mrs. Wallowitz and makes Sheldon go instead. Uh, and then Howard's very last thing for Sheldon to do, pay him a compliment. Sheldon, uh, he actually thinks Howard is a very good engineer. He just doesn't think that engineering is worth doing at all. Oh my god, so sad. Honestly, the practical application of science is much more interesting and useful to me than the theoretical side of physics. Does it perhaps take less skill and study to excel at engineering than theoretical physics? Yes, but that doesn't mean it's not worth doing. I mean, Sheldon looks down on Amy's line of work too, and kind of sees everyone but a select few people as like beneath him. I wonder if that'll ever change. Probably not. Anyway, fun seeing Sheldon get tortured a bit for in this episode and having this Stephen Hawking cameo. Hope you enjoyed my reaction. Full reaction is going to be on Patreon in the link in the description below. Early reactions are there as well. Leave a like, and if you stay till the end, you're awesome. Love you guys. I'll see you guys soon with more. Bye, friends.